major GTA 5 online update is coming soon to PS4, Xbox One and PC. Rockstar released some of their plans for a big summer launch for the popular multiplayer mode earlier this year. Now, even more has been released on what will be included in the upcoming Gun Running DLC. A series of new images have been released of some of the new equipment arriving with the expansion, which is still without a release date. Fans already know that they will need to buy a special bunker where they can direct missions to deliver and steal weaponry manufactured arsenal. These dangerous excursions will require supporting vehicles and armaments, which look very deadly indeed. The bunker will not only supply you with additional gear but will also allow players to research personal upgrades, including a mod for your motorbike. Beyond manufacturing your stock to sell, reap the benefits of your bunker's white coat staff by allocating their time to research and they'll get busy unlocking a range of optional upgrades including unique personal weapon modifications, a whole range of brutal tech for your weaponized vehicles and terrifying upgrades for your mobile operations center, Rockstar explains. Arms dealers can also invest in a mobile operations center, MOC, which is storable in your bunker. This drivable command center's modular construction allows for tailored combinations of vehicle workshop, weapons workshop, luxury living quarters, and command center with facilities for upgrading and customizing your arsenal and modifying weaponized vehicles, including turrets for your muck that can be manned by your squad, all at your fingertips, and pulled by a fully customizable commercial semi. Rockstar on new vehicles, weaponized vehicles are a brand new class to stock and customize. Build a fleet to cover every eventuality, from the ultimate utility of the fully amphibious, canatoding APC to a mobile anti-aircraft trailer that'll have pilots soiling their cockpits across the state. Weaponized vehicles can also be employed as company assets instrumental in delivering cargo to any drop-off. A release date announcement could drop during E3 2017, although Rockstar themselves will not be showing off much during the expo. Microsoft are currently holding a big sale on Ubisoft titles including games such as Ghost Recon Wildlands and Tactical, competitive shooter Rainbow Six Siege. Discounts range from 25% to 50% and also include a bunch of DLC content and skins from a number of Tom Clancy games. And it also appeared to hold some major Xbox One backwards compatibility list news. The press release posted on the official Xbox site read, or if you'd prefer to play some of the modern classic Tom Clancy games, available on Xbox 360 and Xbox One through backward compatibility, Splinter Cell, Conviction and Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter are also discounted up to 67% off. However, this has since been updated with the backwards compatible reference removed. Microsoft then went a step further, adding this editor's note to the article, we incorrectly listed a few games as supporting backward compatibility on Xbox One. This was an error. The sale is due to end on Monday, June 5. The Microsoft Xbox C3 briefing is going to be packed with Project Scorpio announcement but is also going to include other gaming announcements. The Xbox showcase begins on Sunday, June 11 at 10 p.m. BST. It will include a live stream that every fans can watch on via their consoles, YouTube, or Twitch. Games such as Forza Motorsport will be on display, as well as Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2 and Crackdown 3. There's the chance of new titles being announced, although the likelihood fans may not get to some much from the main Halo series this year. There could be more announcement connected to the Xbox Game Pass feature as well as backwards compatibility and Windows 10 integration. Microsoft has successfully built the Xbox Store as a place where Gold subscribers like to spend their money on a range of platforms, meaning more could be unveiled for it.